Hello everyone. In last lecture we have seen some conceptual understanding for the uncharged capacitor. In this lecture we will further extend the concept for the uncharged capacitor by solving one small numerical. To solve this numerical you should know the basic equation for the voltage across the capacitor which is in the form V of t equals to 1 by C minus infinite to t IC of t dt. This is the fundamental equation for the voltage across the capacitor. The definite integral can be converted into the two parts 1 by C minus infinite to 0 IC of t dt plus 0 to t IC of t dt BC of t. The first part is called as the initial value. Second part is called as the final value or steady state value. So if you see in this axis, this is your zero point, this is your infinite, this is your minus infinite or this is also called as the time. Okay. This is t is equal to zero point, this is t is greater than zero, this is t is less than zero. Now for the conceptual understanding, you should know one simple thumb rule. If t equals to zero, value of capacitor is given then the capacitor is initially charged if the value of capacitor at t is equal to 0 is not given which is 0 then capacitor is initially uncharged okay this is a small concept you have to remember so vc of t will become initial value plus final value initial value we represent in the form of v of 0 and final value we represent in the form of v of 0 plus now remember if capacitor is initially uncharged then v of 0 equals to 0 so vc of t will become vc of 0 plus which will be equal to 1 by c 0 to t ic of t dt if the voltage is some value then the voltage across the capacitor will be initial value plus 1 by c okay this we have to remember we have to check in the question very carefully if the initial value across the capacitor is given or not okay to further extend the concept you should know one thing if initial value of capacitor is given then v of 0 minus will be equals to v of 0 okay at t equals to 0 what will be the value of the capacitor the same value the capacitor will be at t is equal to 0 minus because capacitor does not allow sudden change in voltage. If the statement in the question is such that the initial value of capacitor is for example 20 volts. So 20 volt will be your V of 0 minus or V of 0. Initial value will be carried out at an instant t is equal to 0. But the steady state value may be different depending on the condition across the capacitor. Okay. Now see the numerical. At t equals to 0, the voltage across 25 millifarad capacitor is 10 volts. Simply V of 0 is given 10 volts. Read carefully again. The voltage across the capacitor is 10 volt as t is equal to 0. Means V is equal to 0 minus equals to V is equal to 0 was 10 volts. Calculate the voltage across the capacitor at t is equal greater than 0 t is greater than 0 is a steady state value when the current of 5t flows through it okay so if you understand the concept the numerical is not that difficult the 5t is in the milliampere you have to remember it question it is missing when the current of 5t milliampere flows through it this is in milliampere so you can solve this question very easily now so vc of t is equal to v c of 0 plus 0 to t i c of t dt now we will solve this equation separately because v c of 0 minus is 10 volt already given so integration of 0 to t i c of t dt 1 by c is missing here sorry 1 by c should be here okay so after writing this equation you can solve this equation very easily 1 by 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 0 to t this is the 
5 t dt which is in the milli ampere okay so this milli ampere and this traditional minus 3 will get cancelled now this 5 will come out 5 by 25 integration of t is t square by 2 this will be 0 to t okay now this will be 5 by 50 into t square so value will be 0 0.1 into t square so the final value across the capacitor will become vc of t equals to vc of 0 plus 1 by c 0 to t ic of t dt initial value across the capacitor was 10 volts plus 0 0.1 into t square was the value of the capacitor at the steady state so this is your final equation which will be in volts not in millivolt the answer is in volts so final answer is 0 0.1 t square plus 10 volts you can solve this numerical if you have some little bit conceptual understanding how the capacitor will work before t equals to t is less than 0 t equals to 0 and t greater than 0 this is a very important condition for the voltage across the capacitor now if you have understood this you can try this numerical for our next section so in this the current flowing through 0.5 farad capacitor is 6 1 e raised to power minus 3 ampere so the current is exponential that is flowing through the capacitor determine the voltage and power at t equals to 2 second assume v of 0 is 0 the meaning of this is initial voltage is 0 for calculation of power power calculation very easy if you know the current multiply it by volt, voltage then you will get the power you try to solve this numerical and please post your answer in the comment section so that whatever answers are correct I may highlight that comment okay otherwise anyhow we will solve this numerical in the next class thank you for your attention please provide your valuable feedback and press like if you like the video and subscribe the channel thank you